Hey Jace. Hey. How's your NRC? You just ended, right? Yes, it was very fun. And today I'm going to share with you on tips for the NRC. So together with my team, this is engineering. So for engineering concept, our aim is to make our robot simple, stable, unique, sturdy and not bulky as well. And also our general idea is to, is to build a, a robot capable of completing the missions. Oh, so there's a mission that you need to do, is it? In yes. the NRC. Later, I'll show you the map. So, our starting model was inspired by this base model. It's advantageous and it's, it's unique as it's rarely used. And also, it's stable structure and its weight is equal on both sides. It's not bulky and we use and it's used beams to protect the wheels from detachment. So, our first design we added two arms to collect props, and each arm can be used alternately. Its advantage is that it can fit in the 25 by 25 by 25 cm size limit, but it failed to collect more props due to the narrow space between the robot's arms, and the collector props can slide out of the end of the arm. Here. So for our second design, we added a hook to the arms to keep props in and increase the width between the two arms. Now it has greater capacity. But it, the alternate movement of, of the extension up and down was very time consuming. So for our third design, we removed, we removed the left arm and added a beam on the left side. Its advantage is that it keeps collector props in within the extension, but it cannot collect more props when the robot extension was full. So for our fourth design, we further expanded the robot on the left side and and its advantages and it creates more space for the props and reduces the number of trips the robot may have to take. So these are stru structural stability. Other than the two other points I mentioned earlier, we secured the gears with an L beam, also here, and we call all loose wires around the beam so they do not obstruct the wheels. Next, I'll talk about programming. Our strategy is to understand the map and the missions and explore for the best route for the robot to complete missions. Then code and test run repeatedly until we get our desired outcome. Can you just show us your robot more? Okay. So for our robot, this is the arm. It can go up and down very uniquely. And also we added like a wheel here so that it can spin along the wall. And also, we added these two arms here for the construction equipment so that it can push the fragile seedling or yellow flower. And I'll show you later in the next, in the next slide. So what does this help with using this design? So it actually helps to, like, it actually helps to push and, and to activate all the construction equipment and saves time as well. Was it better than some of the, the bots that you've seen in the NRC competition? Yes, it was much better. So this is our code one and two. So for our code one, we go, we collect all the props from the left side and avoid the sun ray if there is one, and the and the undrinkable water and put them on the city center. And we'll do the same for code three and four. Next for code five and code six, code five will activate all the construction equipment around before going back. To the loading bay and then it will move to the starting point and push the switch on the logic behind our code make uh, it uses the gyro function which also makes use of the gyroscope sensor therefore the robot is able to make accurate left right forward and backward movements this is our code this is the code for the yaw axis and this is our code for the for the run here are our test runs. You want to see a video? The first scenario if it's, is when the undrinkable water is at the back. And the second scenario is if the undrinkable water is at the front. So also, besides the robot, we also have construction equipment. And this is called the solar panel launcher. 
So for solar panel analysis, the solar panel has to be on top of the building and has a convex tree start lamp shape at the bottom. Upon brainstorming, we figure out it could be dropped down onto the building by something. Preferably an easy to activate and fail safe mechanism. So, together my team, we did some research and we found out some ideas. For a slider crank linkage, a rack and pinion gear, and a motorized gear slide crank linkage. For the motorized gear, it turns circular motion into horizontal, into horizontal motion. So this is our first design to third size. Our first design is our first design was a failure because we were told that we could not use any motors to activate it. So for our second one, we decided to use the rack and pinion gear. But then but then in case of failure it will not work. So for our third design, we decided to do a passive mechanism. However, if However, it rotated further than the design angle. So, we came up with the fourth design. So, this is the last design of the solar panel launcher. As you can see, when the robot pushes it, it will active. When the robot pushes it, it will be act the contact point will be pushed, and will, the the main structure and the slider. Will Will, will go down allowing the solar panel to be dropped onto the building and the support here will allow the solar panel not to not rotate further than the design angle so is it a very good design that you can uh, like teach people to use and all in such robot run yes i really appreciate this design so it's very interesting uh, for your this construction equipment uh. yes so this is our solar panel launcher in the before and after pictures. So now comes to the flower pot hanger analysis. So the flower pot has to be hung first, then the flower can be placed on the pot. Again, we figure out a similar mechanism related to this solar panel launcher. So this is the flower pot hanger. It has the same principles as the solar panel launcher as well. So these are the before and after pictures. Unlike the solar, unlike the solar panel, it will actually be, it will actually some part of it will actually be standing on this so that it, so when it's pushed, it can actually fall onto the side of the building. So for the, so this is another design for construction equipment. So the red flower seedling and fragile seedling loader. So the red flower will be on top and the fragile seedling will be below. Again, for the robot, it will, it will push the two, it will push the two beams will push the flower and the seedling, and the blue the red arrows mark where the beams are going are going to push, and the blue arrows will mark where the red flower and fragile seedling will go. Now comes to my reflection. Now comes so what do you learn? Uh, do, you, do you win anything this NRC? No. So what happened actually? No, actually the run? for our first, first qualify run, we actually did a good job, but we didn't charge it because we thought it was full. The robot had a very... It didn't... It read the charging wrongly. So, so what happened for our second, second qualify run? run, it failed. It turns out it could, it only spin in circles. But you did a lot of dry run, right? Yes, you probably did like six. Yeah, so your second your second qualifying run, you did six dry run and you all were good, right? Yeah. Yeah, but it's you just forgot. the last one. Yeah, the very last one. So this Murphy's law: what goes wrong will go wrong. Yeah. You didn't prepare. Yeah, go wrong. you didn't prepare yourself because and the six. If everything seems to be going well, we've obviously looked over, overlooked something. So what can you learn? Now? Are you going to so compete and challenge yourself? So every robot run must have battery. It's okay. A very important. That's tip. a very important one. I can't believe I actually forgot about that. It's the most basic thing we need. If yours is a rechargeable battery, you can bring a power bank if there's no any if there's no plugs there, and also bring a wire. 
for a normal battery, NRC will actually provide you with batteries. So for our reflections, this is what I learned. So how can you improve? Are you going to give up or are you going to compete no, your challenge and challenge yourself next year? I'm going to compete again. I'm going to compete again next year. So see you in the next video and please hope that I win next year. Goodbye.